save money on electricity bills by switching off all appliances when leaving the house. The energy provider says even the smallest appliances that are not unplugged consumes energy. Consumers should not just change their mindsets for the festive season but also for the future as South Africans should brace themselves for a possible inflation increase in electricity tariffs over the next three years. Joining us to talk about this and other issues in our studios in uh, Cape Town is Ellen Matthews, the spokesperson for Energy Partners. Ellen, it's a very good morning to you and thank you so much for coming through. Yeah, good morning and uh, thanks for having me on the show. Now, I believe, uh, you know, the first step in saving electricity is to understand how electricity is used in your home. Yeah, I think uh, that's always a, a good idea uh, to know, you know, what are the big, uh, the big appliances in your house that are, are consuming electricity. Uh, for most homeowners, uh, the biggest uh, energy user is going to be your hot water. So your geyser in a conventional home uses between 40 and 50 percent of, uh, of the electricity in your house. So um, that's, uh, that's the first thing that we always tell people to, uh, to focus on. Yeah, and of course during this period a lot of people are away on holidays. But you know our homes are full of appliances that, are, that use electricity and are usually on standby. We're not at home but our appliances are always plugged onto plugs and such things like the giza as you've made mention of. Uh, do, do we really know that such appliances uh, still consumes energy even if they're not in use? Yeah, so that, that's, uh, that's exactly right. Um, and specifically if you're talking now about people who, uh, who are going away for, uh, for the holidays um, and who are not going to be at, uh, at home, uh, there's a lot of things that uh, people leave on uh, in their house that's going to consume electricity while they're not there um, that they could save money on. So uh, all these small appliances that you're talking about uh, you know, they're, they're each using a very small amount of electricity. I mean, if you think mm -hmm. of things like uh, your microwave, your DVD player, even your TV, all of those have a small standby charge that they draw. Uh, and each one is very small, but for many of us now in this day and age, we can have 10 or 20 of those devices on mm -hmm. in, our, uh, in our house. So if you are going to go away for a period of time, it's a good idea to just walk through the house uh, and actually just unplug all of those devices. Because even if they're switched off, you know, sort of on your microwave, for example, uh, even if the microwave isn't in use, it's got a clock uh, with the digital display. Uh, the same is true usually for your, uh, for your C CD player and your DVD player. So rather go around and switch all of those things off uh, at the plug or even unplug them so that they're not drawing electricity uh, while, you're, uh, while you're away from home. All right. Now, tell us more about the electricity tariffs that you expect to increase over the next uh, three years. Yeah, actually, I just want to say one, one other thing I should mention for people that are going away from, from home. The one other thing we've seen is that a lot of people uh, decide to leave all their lights on, mm. either inside or outside the house as a security uh, sort of provision because uh, they think it'll discourage criminals from breaking into their, into their house, which is, is not a bad idea, uh, but that can actually be extremely wasteful of electricity. So I would really advise people, if they want to do that, to, uh, to put in a timer on their light switches, or what you can readily get now at most hardware stores is lights that uh, only switch on when it's dark outside. So you can go around and replace some of your outside lights with those too, uh, and that can be a, also be a significant saving. So. So I just wanted to, to throw yeah, that in there. But in idea. answer to your question, yes, there will be uh, another tariff increase next year. Um, ESCOM announces their tariff increases in, uh, in April, and most of the municipalities will bring theirs in in June and July. Uh, unfortunately, we have no firm indication from uh, ESCOM or the energy regulator, NERSA, what the increases will be but we are expecting another um, above average increase like we saw last year. Yeah, and we've been seeing a whole lot of uh, increases over the past years, but what kind of mindset should homeowners adopt in order to survive this increase? Yeah, so I think that's, uh, that's exactly the, the question that we think people should be uh, spending time on rather over the holidays. I mean, switching things off in your house while you're away for a few 
a few days is, uh, is good to save you, uh, you know, 10 or 20 or maybe 100 rand. But if you really want to address your electricity bill, uh, the best thing to do over the holidays is to start thinking about making some permanent changes uh, in your home. Uh, and the things that will really make a significant difference in your bill are interventions like putting in uh, solar PV panels to generate your own electricity. Um, you can easily, with the technology that's available now, you can easily generate 50% uh, of your electricity yourself uh, instead of having to buy it from the municipality. Um, or uh, at least putting in uh, efficient hot water producing systems like a heat pump uh, and a highly insulated tank or even a, uh, a solar water heating system uh, that can usually save around about 30% of your electricity bill. So those are, are bigger investments. I mean, those aren't things that you're just going to decide to do in the few hours before you go on holiday. But those are really the things that uh, over the course of the next year or five or ten years are going to help you make big reductions in your electricity bill. Yeah, I wanted to say that it looks like we'll all be, you know, running to solar appliances because of these increases. But thank you so much, Alan, for having shed the light with us. You're welcome. Thanks for having me on. Thank you very much. There you have it. Well, that's uh, Ellen uh, Matthews talking to us about how to save electricity during the festive season and, of course, beyond that, because we're expecting increases again for the next coming three years. Yeah, that's the bad Everything news. is going up. <laughs> Salaries, dololo. Exactly. <laughs> Say no more. Say no more. Everything else up except for those salaries, yeah. dololo. That must be the, year, the word of the year. Should be. I think it is. Yeah. But now there's one that's in as well, Zembenzen. Oh, Instead of saying this December, yeah. they're all saying Zembenzen. Everything on social media. Zembenzen, are we going out? Zembenzen, are we going on holidays? Really? Everything on okay. social media. I've got to learn that one. I missed that yeah. one. But listen, one thing you mustn't miss is that uh, coming up after us, newsroom in just a, a